In this video, I will show you how you can bend the forest road in Affinity Photo with the Perspective Warp Tool. Alright, so we start off with a blank document. And I downloaded these two pictures of Unsplash.com. One of this cliff and one of this beautiful forest road. And I will copy and paste my forest road into our working space. There we go. Um, now I want to position it. So I double click the thumbnail and I press V to select the move tool. And now I can move my forest road around and I position it right here. And uh, as you can see, I have snapping turned on. So it will actually snap uh, to the to the edges of the canvas. So now I can turn snapping off and there we have our forest road. Um, then the second thing that we want to do is we want to make a selection of our forest road. But before we do that, we have to rasterize our image. And I can show you why. Because when I make a selection now, like so, and I close it and press Command J, nothing really happens. It actually just copied the whole image, as you can not really see. But now I can show you it just copied the whole image and not just the road. So I will undo that by pressing Command Z. And I will rasterize the image now. And then when I press Command J and deselect by pressing Command D, you can see that I actually only have this part of the road. And that's all we need. So uh, let's position that where we want it to be. And that's actually right where it is. And then we select our perspective tool. And now we are going to change the perspective of the road by dragging the two bottom corners all the way to the middle. Or somewhere in the middle like so and all I want to do at this moment is I want to kind of align this line with our canvas so I want to make it a straight uh, make it look like the road is going straight down and I think that's about here or something and I will press apply. And as you can see now, we have this road going down. So we completely change the perspective of the road. Um, next thing that we want to do is we want to align uh, the white lines with uh, the white lines of the original road. So I uh, click here on this ball and I hold command to drag out from the center. And now I position it kind of with the white line. And you can see my uh, edge is a little feathered and that's probably because when I select the lasso tool you can see I have a feather of 5 pixels. Um, we can easily um, fix this. Uh, you have probably have your feather at 0. But um, we can easily fix this by creating a layer mask. Uh, uh, press B to select a brush and I want a harder brush, one on a harder round brush. And all I have to do now is just click here on this side of the road where so that my lines are aligned and shift click on the other side of the road. So now I have this straight line and I can fine tune my uh, mask on this side a little bit with a softer brush like so and we can do the same on the other side. All right, this looks really nice already. Um, next thing is we want to uh, make the road a continuous road. So I want this uh, to continue and not to stop right here. So what I want to do is I want to copy this road by pressing Command J. Uh, select the Move tool by pressing V and position our road. All we have to do now is get into the mask of the road and we want to blend this a little better. So I increase the brush size with the bracket keys and with position it a little better with the move tool. Oops. Like this. I select the mask and just mask out parts of the road so that it actually blends in together nicely. We can stretch this one a little bit. 
not the mask but the layer like this now blend the road in perfectly like so and on the other side the same so now it actually looks like a road is continuing and now we can merge down this layer so that it becomes one layer as you can see now we just have one road layer um, all right so now we want to uh, grab our rocky texture so I just copy and paste this photo into our working space and I will position it right about here and uh, now what I'm looking at now is actually this line so the line that goes somewhere near the trees and that's where I want my rocky texture to start so that will be around here now all I have to do is I will drag this one down all the way and I have to mask out on the forest layer so that's this layer I will have to make a mask and mask out this part of the image so I do that with my brush tool and oops zoom in by pressing command plus a little bit and make the hardness set the hardness to 70 or whatever and just mask out parts of the forest image same on this side something like so and we want to make sure that actually behind our road there is rocky texture as well and I will show you later why so uh, what I do now is I select my marquee tool by pressing M and I select this whole thing and press shift delete and fill it with my secondary color which is black so now I've got this um, texture here and now I can turn back on the the, the road um, now there's still grass here and I don't really want the grass to be there I just wanted to position somewhere where there's no grass or not too much grass and that's right about here and I actually want to mirror it I want this darker part to be here so I flip it position it and now I can see that my mask is not so nice here so let's fix that a little bit this is my road all right and now I can show you why I want this uh, rocky texture to be behind the road and that is because I want to uh, let some of the rocky texture come through the road so I think it gives a nice effect so what I want to do to not mess with the original um, mask I want to create a group and then I make a group mask so now I can work separated from this mask I can work in another mask without uh, messing with the original one so let, let's erase this and now a cool thing is to get a texture brush zoom in a little bit and whatever I don't know what is this one but I do basically I'm brushing some texture something like that and then the other side as well like this and maybe with another texture brush do some other this is too strong reduce the opacity and do some more texture over here as well Increase the opacity a little bit. Alright, I think that looks pretty cool. 
Um, now, obviously, this uh, rocky texture is way too dark, so we want to find our rocky texture, which is not this one. It's right here. Let's name it rocky texture so I can actually find it. Let's name this one forest and this one is road. So we go to the rocky texture and create a levels adjustment layer and <coughs> decrease the highlights by dragging this slider down to somewhere here. And now I want to make this part, but only this part a little bit darker because I think this is uh, too bright still. So I create another levels adjustment layer and I wait for my computer to load. And then I do it once again. So I drag this slider down, but now I inverse the mask by pressing command I, and now I can brush with a, a white brush A wide round, uh, soft round brush. I can brush in some of the darkness again, like so. So now it looks a little bit similar to this side. All right. So um, because the road is like bended here, this should be darker as well. The road. So let's go to the road and create a levels adjustment layer right here as well drag down the, the uh, highlights and um, let's see already looks pretty cool I want this part to be even darker so I create another levels adjustment layer do the same thing drag down the highlights and invert the layer mask by pressing command i and brush in with white so now it actually kind of um, yeah it gives a nice effect i actually want the same for uh, the rocks as well so i'm gonna expand the mask oops with a white brush to the rocks and I'm going to drag this one all the way up. So now it's also on the rocks. Okay, I think it's a little too much here. And maybe this one is also a little too much. Draw some highlights back. Something like this. And um, now I want a little tiny white edge over here so that it gives, uh, makes it look like the edges bent a little. So I just create another, um, a new pixel layer. I can just grab my white brush, re uh, increase the opacity, increase the flow and click here and shift click on the other side erase a little bit and now I set the blend mode to overlay and move it a little bit down and I reduce the opacity like this All right, so we can do some final adjustments because I'm pretty happy with how all of this stuff looks actually. Uh, one thing that we can do before we stop the video is we make a little different um, mask around here. So now it's kind of a straight line, but when the road is like, or when the earth is just stopping, I think it would look a little different. So let's go to our forest layer. Into the mask and grab some weird brush effects maybe I don't know this one and brush away some stuff so now it looks a little more edgy 
same on this side. Like so. And maybe darken it a little bit there. So I'll create a levels adjustment layer and drag down the the, opac uh, the, the highlights, inverse the mask and brush back some shadows with a white brush. like this cool all right so as last we can do some overall um, color grading and maybe play a little bit with some curves so let's just see Increase the brightness a little bit, maybe play with the colors a little bit. I think the reds are fine. Increase the reds in the highlights just a touch. This one is also nice. Make it a little bit more pinkish. Or magenta, I should say. and add some yellows in the highlights as well so this is the before and this is the after well there's a lot more things that we can do actually um, I'm not so sure what I want to do with this image now so far because I actually already like how it looks so um, thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment on what you would like to see next if you enjoy my content feel free to subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me then I hope I will see you in my next video